Hello friends, welcome back to Linux learning series. So please do visit my website www.sureshara.com and also please do visit my YouTube channel. This is my channel. You can also request for any new video. I will create the video and I will send it to you. So today we are going to discuss something about disk quota. What do you mean by disk quota? Let's say you have one employee and who is downloading the movies, songs, games and other unwanted stuffs every day. So which is resulting in consumption of your hard disk. So where you, you have one hard drive but that hard drive is you know filled with all the junk files like unwanted files just like movies or songs or something like that. So how can you restrict the user by not downloading any other unwanted data? Yes, you may have some other technology for that like you can either restrict the websites or even you can restrict the uh, internet usage by using any proxy server or we have some other technologies. But here we have another method, the most widely used method in companies which will save the disk space and also it will help you uh, by user not downloading any unwanted data. Let's say like say for example there is one user uh, called XYZ and if you restrict that user for 20 GB let's say what happens that user cannot use more than 20 GB. So once his home directory is filled with 20 GB of data then maybe immediately he will receive one error message saying that he is running out of the disk or you know he doesn't have the disk storage capacity or something like that. So this is what you call it as hard, hard quota, quota. Okay. Then we also have something called as soft quota. What is soft quota? Soft quota is nothing but the user is allowed to use 20 GB. Let's say once the user reached 18 GB, then immediately he must get one warning message saying that he is, uh, you know, hard drive is almost 80% filled or 70% filled or it is going to be filled very soon or something like that. So what happens is once he receives such kind of message or warning, then he will make sure that he will delete any unwanted data which is there in his home directory. Okay, this is the basic idea behind uh, disk quota. Let's see how this quota works. Here in this machine, I have only one user called Krishna. I don't think so. I have any other user. Okay, let me log in as super user because the disk quota you cannot, uh, you know, give the access or you cannot restrict the user by using uh, normal user accounts. Okay, okay. Now I have logged in as root. So first thing what we have to do is let's edit this file. So we have learned about this fstep file, right? So what is fstep? It will show you all the mounted devices which is there in your machine. Okay. So basically fstep will be like this. So let me remove this. Basically your fstep file will be like this. This is the original fstep file. Okay, so for this file, what I am doing is I am adding something called as USR quota, comma, GRP quota. That means to say, you are either you can apply user quota or group quota. Okay, so just type this and don't try to do any other changes with any of this line. So that means to say now you are going to do something with slash uh, slash partition. If you have separate, say for example, if you have separate uh, partition for home and which is mounted here, then you can apply for home. But here since we do not have any separate home partition mounted here and there is only one slash partition which is mounted and home is a sub directory of slash so what i am doing is i am applying the uh, quota restriction directly on slash okay now let me save the file and close so what happened is now i have applied the quota okay 
sorry i made uh, my fstep file to get ready with quota management okay now and please remember this file slash etc slash fstep file can be read only when your machine is rebooted whenever your machine is switched on right so only that time this file will be read so now i had done some changes with this file but i need to reboot the machine if my linux kernel wants to get updated with this new entry either you can reboot manually or just you can use this command mount with option remount slash that means to say there is one mount uh, which is mounted on slash there is a you know uh, what do you call this partition called slash and which is mounted on my fs tab i had done some changes with fs tab file now now just go and read the file once again so there are some changes with this file now so i don't want to reboot without rebooting just go and read this file once again and apply the changes over li on linux environment okay now now it is done and always please remember whenever you create disk quota there will be two files always created one is a quota dot user and a quota dot group okay so it is going to create these two files so what is this file this is nothing but it's a database file database file which has the information about your quota so what is your quota who uh, who is the user for which user we have applied the quota permission and uh, what is the style of quota which you are using of course it has everything related to that okay so now what i will do is let me use this command quota check quota check see just go to quota check and even you can check just go with the uh, man pages you can check what is there in quota okay so quota check is uh, so something like this you have some options here okay so now what i am doing i am using this command quota check slash mcug okay so m for uh, no user uh, to create the user and uh, what is that just a minute let me go through this man file once again one is c for create files and u for user and m for no remount okay so without remounting so you have you want to do that okay let's go ahead and use this command quota check slash mcug okay so for which partition you are applying quota that is very important you are applying quota for slash partition right because we have done the changes in our fs tab for this partition you may have different different partitions and you have you may have different devices which are mounted on your machine but for which partition for which mounted device you are applying quota that is very important so quota check uh mcug slash so once you do this what happens quota for okay it's already enabled in my machine don't worry okay uh so what happened is in your machine you can try so whenever you hit slash mcug you will get let's go and check in cd slash okay see here you will get two files called a quota dot group and a quota dot user since already it is created in my machine you know i am getting this error quota for user is enabled and mount point so 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 blah blah stuff and all those things but in your machine when you enter this it will take some time usually it takes some 30 to 60 seconds almost 1 minute it will take depending on your computer configuration speed and all those kinds of then automatically it will create these two files okay but in my machine it's already created so don't worry about that one so now next what we had to do is you had done changes with fstep file done and you made your uh, linux kernel to ready with quota check 
and uh, you have created the database file called a user uh, a quota dot user and a quota dot group yes it is done now the last step is you have to apply the quota for the user let's say add quota and type the username here i have one user called krishna if you have user xyz in your machine you type the username like say for example if your username in your machine if the username is james then type the username here ed quota space james or username okay so this is the syntax so this is the syntax ed quota with space one username so this username i am changing with the real time username see here i have a username called krishna so that means to say for krishna i am applying the disk quota okay see the last column here you know this hard is this column soft is this column i nodes is this column and hard is this column so here what you have to do is you are going to change here only here this part okay so this is number of blocks 207296 is number of blocks so 0 is soft and 0 is hard 0 is soft and 0 is hard what is soft quota here so soft quota is nothing but once you reach the soft quota you will get one error message so hard quota is nothing but that is the maximum size of the disk which is allocated for that user once his disk is filled with 20 gb of data then the user is not able to log in or he is not able to create any files in his machine okay okay let's go back to our red hat centos linux okay so here what i will do is i will do some changes so what changes i will do let's go to hard and i will change that to uh, some 15000 okay so 15000 mb i changed it and soft i will change it to somewhere around 12000 okay now let me save this file w with q right and quit now changes has been done it is applied now the very last step is you have added the quota for this user but still we did not switch it on isn't it so quota is everything is ready you made your fs file ready you you know made your uh, linux kernel to ready with uh, by creating the database file a quota dot user a quota dot group and for the user krishna you have applied some uh, quota everything is ready but still we have not switched on switch it on correct so how to switch it on it is very simple you can use quota on quota on for the slash so once you hit quota on for slash see what happened see because it's already done uh, it's already there so now you don't worry so in your machine if you type you will get this okay so what happened is so quota will be on for that particular user so we have another command called rep quota so what happens rep quota a for all as you know okay so it will show all the available quota report rep for report see report for user quotas so you may have n number of users in your machine see so totally these many users are there as of now in my machine so it will show the quota management for each and every user as of now there is no quota restriction for root no quota restriction for lp no quota restriction for postfix or any of this user there is this quota restriction which is applied only for this user krishna see the hard quota is nothing but 15 days and the soft quota is uh, 15000 and the soft quota is nothing but 12000 blocks okay and the grace period is nothing but up to what days you can use the uh, machine or uh, you know once it is done once you know it is reached the quota limit so this is how you can or if you want to see the uh, report of uh, quota for one particular user then what you can do is you can type the quota with the username quota username let's type krishna then it will show the quota reply quota quota report only for that particular user whereas if you use rep quota dash a a for all it will show for all the users so this is how to restrict the user by using the 
डिस्कोटा एंड नाउ इफ आई लॉग इन एज कृष्णा नाउ आई लॉग इन एज रूट हियर लेट मी क्रिएट सम फाइल्स नो लेट मी लॉग आउट एज कृष्णा फर्स्ट हियर और लेट मी ओपन अनदर टर्मिनल हियर नो वॉट आई विल डू इज लेट मी क्रिएट ए ह्यूज फाइल वॉट हैपन्स इज वंस सी डी एम राइट फेल्ड यूजर ब्लॉक लिमिट रीच दैट मीन्स टू से there is no disk see disk quota exceeded that means to say i am using more than the allocated uh, you know space for me now what i will do is let me edit this again edit quota dot krishna and let me change this to let me add another zero i don't know whether i have that much of disk space or not but still let me add oh sorry let me add here another zero and save the file wq quit and now if i try to execute the same command see now it is creating the file now it's creating the file now i did not receive any error message that is because of this reason i have increased okay still you know still i need uh, some more extra disk space it's okay okay so this is how quota works so whenever you used you have whenever you run out of the disk space then you will receive this message so whenever user receives this message then he will contact the it help desk then it system admin will try to either you know increase the disk quota or maybe he can switch off the quota or something like that okay so this is how to work with the uh, disk quota and how to apply the changes thanks for watching have a great day please do visit my youtube account and also please do visit my website for any updates thank you thanks a lot